Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. We're looking at the shorter time frame, that is the one hour, the Australian dollar spiked to an intraday high of 74.68 or where the resistance is around 74.65. And then since the last couple of hours, the market has declined. The recent spike was on the back of the RBA board members after leaving the cash rate unchanged at a record low of 0.10% at its monthly board meeting, a level that's still expected to maintain until 2024. In the statement accompanying the decision at the Tuesday's board meeting, Governor Laurie said Australia's economic recovery has been interrupted by the Delta outbreak. Also adding that the GDP is expected to decline materially in the September quarter and the unemployment rate will move higher over coming months. However, this setback is to the economic expansion is expected to be only temporary, he said. Meanwhile, eyes will be shifting back to the US dollar once the US returns on Tuesday after being absent on Monday in observance of Labor Day. So looking at the technical aspect, the shorter term has broken down and moving on to the four hour, we can see that the risk is still to the downside. Therefore, we are looking for a break that is of 74 cents. It's trading around 74.11. Now beneath there would expose further risk to 73.60 to 72.80 and reinstating the downside bearish sentiment but wait till we get a break from the midway point to get the confirmation the candlesticks are very much in line to support a bearish case but i would like to see also the rsi at least supporting this call to the downside view at first that is of 7360 with the us dollar which measures the greenback strength against a basket of six major currencies continues to offer or hover sorry over 92 zero or 92 handle with the key support level seen at 91.70, could see a further slide in the euro if the dollar rec recovers tonight. Although we did get some disappointing numbers from the non-farm payrolls on Friday, I still anticipate that the dollar index will retain its bullish bias and therefore see the euro retreat from its 119.30.35 resistance. As you can see very clearly across this cap, the bears are still harboring and likely to expect it to if rechallenged. Now I'm looking towards the downside. We do need to see a break of 118.35, which is about 35, 30 points away, and therefore a break there would give a, or reinstate the downside to 117.60. Really incess from there. The dollar yen, while well, many spikes have continued to fail above that 110.25, and any rechallenges I anticipate this to reoccur, and therefore see a rejection with the overall view looking at 109.40 and down to 108.60.85 and reassess. Since the pound broke 138.20, the rally on towards 138.80 has been respected since Friday and therefore maybe see this to continue as the RSI drops. Keep an eye on this uh, level because of midway point breaks, then we may see a further slide to the pound and a close under 139.70 could see a further slide to 137.30 and reassess. That would mean that the recent break above 151.70 for sterling yen will fail and eventually see the market break down. But I would like to see the level of 151.70 rebroken again to the downside this time. And if so, would see a further slide towards the region of 151.20. Since gold took the challenge on Friday to the top side and was stopped in its tracks at 1,830.35 area, as you can see was previously contested and rejected, the bears over the last couple of days are slowly coming back into play. But keep an eye on the RSI. As you can see over the last few challenges, we've seen a good rebound off that midway point. However, if we see a break in the support level seen at 1,810, which isn't too far away, then that could see a further breakdown in the RSI. However, we do need to see that close under there. Otherwise, we could see one more attempt to the top side, which I do anticipate will fail anywhere from around 1,834 to 35. The New York session remaining relatively quiet for oil. Now, looking at the 
Price action, the rejection from $70 a barrel still contains any bullish advance. And I do feel that while intact, still looks towards $66.50. Let's see if the market has the potential to slide further. But the midway point on the RSI is also respecting and very well in terms of holding. And that is that while it continues, a small impulse to the upside should not be ruled out, but likely to fail. Overall, I am bearish towards that bottom side of the range. Well, that wraps it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the intro report. I hope you enjoy the rest of the day.